It's one of the most picturesque areas in the territory. A remote community on a fjord tucked into the mountainside. But look deeper and the people in Pondiktu are struggling. We are feeling desperate. Some of us feel hopeless. And with that comes a desperate call for help. In February, a dozen youth attempted to take their own lives. Touches you deep because it's the same thing that's repeating itself. Henry Mike says he's lost count of his friends and family who have died by suicide. There's sadness, grief, anger, disappointment. This soup kitchen used to be a youth center. It was a safe haven for teens, but closed after government funding dried up in 2015. And that void kind of create a lot of idle hands, and those idle hands usually lead to trouble because there's no guidance. RCMP say the number of alcohol-related calls in the community have increased, and concerns about violence are growing. This is supposed to be a dry community, but the deputy mayor says that isn't stopping people from abusing hard liquor that's being smuggled in through the mail and at airports. In response to the crisis, government of Nunavut health representatives have hit the ground. They're picking up old or expired medication and handing out trigger locks for guns. Nunavut's Minister of Health says this community's troubles aren't unique in the territory. There's a lot of communities that are crying out for help especially mental health, mental health counseling. Government officials and RCMP are meeting with council on Tuesday. Residents hope they don't come empty-handed. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Pondiktu.